Hello, my friends. <laughs> I I should have scripted this, but you know, I didn't. So if you haven't seen it yet, if you missed the latest stream, this is my newest, most roundest, most ungovernable form. <laughs> yeah. And what do you think of my new room? Isn't it beautiful? And doesn't it match me very well? And doesn't it just fit everything I am as a person, considering there's a cactus right there? <laughs> you know how I feel about cacti. Anyway, this is actually a speed build, technically, that we're about to do. And the voiceover, unfortunately, I recorded it before I got my newest, most ungovernable form that you're seeing right now. So my blobby beautiful self will not be on the screen, unfortunately, for most of it, but going forward, um, I probably will be, you know, you'll get to see my jiggle physics, you know? <laughs> the voiceover for this speed build is just me talking about my recent trip to Las Vegas. It was a work trip, I did have to go for work, but as you'll hear, I had a lot of time to myself as well. <laughs> and I was very awkward, as usual. I... I did a stupid. <laughs> I accidentally deleted the first part of the audio, so you kind of start in the middle of me talking about, like, me getting to this place. But essentially, we were staying in a very nice five-star resort in Las Vegas. Because it was cheaper at the time than like uh, what would normally be a cheaper hotel, you know? And all that you missed was me just talking about how I, I the flight and me being scared of airplanes and all that. But I did make it and that's kind of where we're going to pick up when we get to this, this speed build and voiceover. But first, the speed build itself isn't necessarily a permanent part of the island. It's really just me putting down my my new passcodes which come out today they are released you can use them if you want to they'll be in the description and i really didn't cut anything out of the speed build so you'll see me messing things up a bit and changing things and just figuring it out as i go because i did not have a plan i was i was just building as i went along <laughs> but i think it came out pretty cool even if it's not a permanent area it was basically me trying to get my codes down, see how they work, and just maybe get some vibes going, a vision going for the rest of the island, you know? <laughs> but who knows, maybe we'll keep it. So, anyway, let's just snap right into the speed build and you can hear about me being awkward in Vegas. <laughs> and my dumbass didn't think about the fact that there would be mountains. Like, again, I've been through Nevada many times. I know where the mountains are, but I'm just so used to being in the flatland that is Texas that I just, I was thinking about so many other things, <laughs> you know, in preparation for this that I forgot there would be mountains. And so when we're riding the stupid tram from, you know, wherever you land to the other part of the airport, because that's a thing, I look out the window and there's mountains and I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool. I used to live near mountains in various states that I lived in. I've lived in a lot of places. That's another story for another day. But yeah, I I just, I saw the mountains and I wanted to cry because I think about, you know, nature a lot, even though I don't get to be in it. I guess especially because I don't get to be in it very much. It's hot and humid most of the year in Texas and there's bugs and snakes and humidity and it's just not fun to be in nature here except for the, the select few days of the year where it's acceptable outside. <laughs> so I dream about, you know, the days of being in the mountains or being by the ocean and, and I just, and so when I saw the mountains I was like, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> they're so beautiful. <laughs> like they're not even that big in Vegas or, or by Vegas, but like they're pretty, you know, it's it's desert and y'all know if you, if you know my first island sage and the second one, you know I love a good desert, so I, I was I was very happy about that. And you know I have my eyes out for dispensaries, cause like you know the good the good shit, you know the stuff, the the leafy stuff, not the leafy Liz stuff, but the other leafy stuff is legal in Vegas, and I. Here's another fun fact about me. I don't know what fact we're on again, and I don't care, but I've never done the thing, okay? I've never taken the drugs, <laughs> okay? And the reason for that is 
mostly that I I'm I'm scared because I'm I'm allergic to alcohol for one thing and I'm allergic to a lot of things that most people aren't allergic to and so I've always just known deep inside that if I ever try that that I will probably not react to it in a, in a good way you know not everybody does anyway like some people don't react to drugs the way other people do and they have a bad time and I'm like I'm gonna be having the worst time if I ever do that but I was like you know I could at least try some gummies, you know, like a bite of a gummy isn't going to kill me. So like I wanted to do that. I, I was looking out for it, but the universe did not have that that in, in mind for me and it's probably for the best. It's probably for the best. But it was still really crazy to just see like, yeah, get your weed here, like on all these signs. Like, <laughs> you know, basically coming from Texas where like that is so illegal, you know, unfortunately, but it's just so sheer opposite um, in Vegas, obviously. And then I get to the resort and holy shit, you know, like I've stayed in some pretty nice hotels, but obviously this was like on another level and having this ginormous room with this ginormous window with this insane view and this huge bathroom with this huge shower that I barely knew how to work and like all this crazy shit. And there's like a whole fridge with like any kind of drink you can imagine, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic. And you know, they, they sell intimacy kits in the in the hotel room, and that's a thing, you know. There's just a, a box if you want to fuck, you can do that. But you know, I'm asexual and I'm here by myself and I'm not doing that, just so we all know. But I thought it was funny. I was like, wow, they are ready here. They know what people here are doing. <laughs> they know what you want here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you anywhere you go, there's gambling and, and there's an, an, an intimacy kit too. You know, it's crazy. The, the, the gamblers and the allosexuals are living their best lives in Vegas, I guess. And then there's me who's just barely surviving, but it's fine. At least I could see the mountains. You know, that's great. And I had alcohol in the fridge and I, you know, my work card was, was the one that we put the room on. So like I could get anything. And I had several hours that day to myself and the pools are so beautiful, y'all. This is where my dilemma started. The pools were so pretty. There was like so many swimming pools at this resort and I could see all of them from my window. So yeah, I was like, really? I didn't, like, I knew I would probably like have the urge to go swimming because I used to love swimming. I was on a swim team. You know, I used to have access to pools when I was younger and I haven't gone swimming in so long and I, I Ahead of time, I was like, well, should I bring my swimsuit? You know, like I don't, I didn't even really have one. Like I have like half a swimsuit. <laughs> like I don't know where the other half of it is. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't bring it. And when I got there, I was instantly like, Liz, what the hell, girl? Why didn't you bring it? Like, cause I, I didn't want to go to the pool by myself. You know, like I'm so awkward. Like I'm so scared of everything and so awkward. And so I guess I just thought, like, even though I'm going to want to, there's no way I'm actually going to do it. <sighs> Oh, the swimsuit. I should have brought at least the one piece that I had. It would have saved me. Anyway, you'll get. We'll get to it. So, I wanted to swim real bad, but I was like, it's fine. You know, I I can handle the beautiful crystal clear pools below me where everyone's splashing and having a great time. It's fine. <laughs> you know, it's fine. And I really, you know, I explored some the first day. This resort is insane. Like it's crazy. There's like it's like a whole city. You know, in there. There's like multiple Starbucks, which is all I needed really. All this gambling, I don't care about that. So I explored a little bit and, and got lost, but I, I survived, you know. And then I fell asleep because <laughs> I had some time before our, our first thing that we had to do that night. And I was like, I'm going to keep these fucking windows open and I'm going to fall asleep and wake up to the view of the mountains. Like, fuck yeah, you know, like it's not that big of a deal, but to me it's a big deal and it's just so pretty in here. And I did just that. It was a pretty epic nap. It wasn't that long, thank God, because normally when I nap, it's like a century long. But this one, I, I controlled myself. I think I was excited to like get up and see the mountains again. Yeah, so we went to our first work thing, that that first meeting, that first night. It wasn't it wasn't too bad, you know, it was just a little like thing we had to do. But the cool thing was on the way back, you know, I got to drive all the way down the strip at night, you know, the whole thing. It was very, very cool to see it at night. And it's just so funny because like obviously like we all have the idea that Vegas just parties all day, every day, all night, every night, no matter when it is. But like really, <laughs> it's true. Like it's 930 on a like freaking Wednesday night and like there is so much partying traffic that we could hardly even get back to where we were staying. 
<laughs> because everyone is just out on a Wednesday night going crazy. And I mean, I get it. It's like everyone's on vacation, you know, but it was just so funny. And it was cool to see all the like famous spots and be like, well, there it all is. You know, it's all real, I guess. That's, that's crazy and quirky and kooky. And it looks different in person from what I remember, you know, like it just, it just looks different, but like, it's, it's cool. You know, it's, it's a lot, but it's cool. And yes, I saw the big new, the new dome, that horrible thing that they have. It's, it's really cool looking and when, when it's not raining and turned off from the rain. <laughs> But it's really cool looking, but it's uh, I'm glad I never saw the eyeball like there's a lot of like galaxy stuff They were doing on it. It looked like a galaxy and it was cool So yeah, we were almost back to the hotel and, and the other work people were like, so what are you gonna do next? Like where what are you gonna go do? What are your plans? And I'm like <laughs> It's almost 10 at night and we have to be somewhere in the morning. I'm going to sleep. Like, where are y'all going? Like, I knew they were going to go do stupid shit, but like, they really were going to go do stupid shit. You know, it was, and it, it, the other thing is like, it's, it's two hours behind time wise, you know? So like, there's a two hour time difference. So even though it was like 10 o'clock there to us, it was like midnight and I am a, a, a night a night person for sure, but the older I get, the more tired you, the more tired you get, you know. And <laughs> another thing that we'll get more into later was I I was taking a double dose of my anxiety meds at the time because my doctor told me to do that. Long story short, when the anxiety hits, because it kind of comes in waves, take two, you know. But this shit makes me so sleepy, and I didn't realize yet just how sleepy it was making me. We'll get to it, but. I also knew it was going to take me for freaking ever to go to sleep despite all of this because we're in a hotel and I don't sleep well in hotels. I don't sleep well anywhere that's not home because it's not home and even if it's comfy and nice, it's not home and it's going to take me a while to calm down like we're in a brand new city that I've basically not been to before in a strange place and there's all this shit going on and it's gonna take me a while to go to sleep so I was like I need to start that process like now um, or it's just not gonna happen <laughs> like I'm not gonna get enough sleep and the, the second thing we had to do the second day was gonna be more exhausting and more intensive so like I really knew I needed to get sleep so I'm like y'all can go be stupid have fun I'm going to sleep you know as soon as I can but I knew it was gonna take a while <laughs> And I got to like, at one point I woke up pretty early just for a little bit. I went back to sleep, but I saw the sun rising on the mountains and I was crying again. Not really, but like my soul was crying, you know, again. I could, I could live like that. I really could. And I saw the pools again, the swimming pools glistening and calling to me and haunting me with their beauty. And the, the other issue was the pools was that they were only open until like 8 p.m. And I don't understand that. 8 p.m. is really fucking early to close a swimming pool. I know when I was a kid, we like stayed at Disney World and the pools were open till like 10, you know? Like, I would think at least 9. And my, the only thing I can think of is like, they want you to come in and gamble, I'm guessing. You know, they like, come inside, it's time to gamble. Like, that's when everybody's waking up. Like, that's when the city is waking up is like around 8 to 9. Like, everything starts to get kooky and quirky and crazy. But that's when I want to go swimming. <laughs> like, as soon as the sun sets, they close the pool. And, like, the pool is so pretty at night. Was the lights, you know? I'm like, huh? I could be down there splish splashing, living my best life. Like, I just want to go be a little fish for a few minutes. Like, I just need 20, 30 minutes, y'all. Let me in the fucking pool. But again, I didn't even have a swimsuit. But I noticed that there was a spa at this hotel, at this resort. And it was like one of the best spas in the whole city, apparently. Like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, there's no way I could do that. Like, that, that shit is expensive, you know? I'm looking at the prices and I'm like, good lord in heaven. You know, this is... This is expensive. And I spent like several <laughs> different times I would get on there and I would like look at the different options for what you can do at the spa and I'm like trying to figure out the cheapest way to do it. <laughs> but again, I would have to have a swimsuit, like... And I, I didn't even bring the one half of my swimsuit that I have. So I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I would have to not only pay for the spa, but I would have to go pay for a swimsuit. And yes, there were several stores at the resort that sold swimsuits, but these are like $100 swimsuits. And we're talking like $100 per piece. Like you, could a whole swimsuit would be like 200 bucks probably. And I'm like, no, I'm paying more for that just to get into the, the spa if I'm going to do it, you know? So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to Target if I'm going to do that. But that thought was just in the back of my head. I'm like, no, that's expensive. Like, 
that's a stupid dude, you know, maybe I can just get into the actual pool, you know. But if it hadn't closed at such an ungodly early hour, you know, I could have done the pool, the regular pool. But it closed at an ungodly early hour, you know, and so both days, like by the time, like I maybe could have managed the second day, but even then, like I was so tired when we got done with our, our second thing on the second day that I probably, if I had just gone right away to get a swimsuit, I probably could have gotten in the pool, but it wouldn't have been worth it because I was so tired and um, I needed to like fall asleep for a bit. <laughs> like, and so I did that. I like fell asleep for a bit and I woke up and I was like looking again down at all the people splish splash and having a great time. And I'm like, I just want to do that so bad. But I had to check out at like 11 a.m. the next day, right? On, on the last day, but I had several hours before my flight so like i had to leave my hotel room but i had to stay in vegas for several hours you know and like obviously you could go to the airport but i didn't want to hang out in the airport and once i once i checked out i wouldn't be able to go into pools so i'm like yeah i'm gonna have several hours tomorrow but i won't be able to swim but i can book a spa appointment let me tell you now i've never been to a spa okay Never. Not even a regular, like, normal spa, much less a, like, five-star luxury resort spa, you know? But I kept looking at it, and I was in so much pain. Like, I have so much body pain, you know? And I, I have an amazing holistic chiropractor, bless her. She's the reason I can, like, hold a pen again, you know? Like, without her, I would still be in, like, constant, severe chronic pain. But, you know, you're never gonna be perfect, so I still have some pain, especially when I'm going through the stress of travel and like sleeping on a bed that's not mine. <laughs> and so I was like, you know, I never do anything for myself. You know, I never, <laughs> I really never do the self care, especially not in, in this kind of way, you know, like, and I had really hoped that my hotel room would at least have like a bathtub so I could at least like soak my stupid painful joints in a bathtub but no it just had like the world's biggest nicest shower instead and I'm like well that's cool but I want to be like submerged in the water you know I really miss that and and so I I finally gave in you know I finally that second day while while we were doing stuff I was like I'm gonna do this I'm gonna book an appointment at this fucking spa you know and they had up all these massage options, you know, you can get like any kind of massage you can think of. There was even one for if you're pregnant, you know, which obviously I don't have to worry about that. But there's all sorts of massages and I'm like, I'm doing it, you know, like I'm not, we're, we're, we're going to get more into this, but I am not like a big massage person because I don't like people touching me. Uh, it's just not a thing I appreciate. And so I'm like, I don't love it, but I have had massages before because I have had so much pain, I've just had to like give in and do it. And like, you know, it's usually worth it. And I was like, if I ever needed it, it was now. And if there was ever a good chance to do it, it's now. And I'll be able to say, you know, I got a massage at a spa in Vegas. Like, let's do it. So I picked out like the regular, I guess, like whole body massage. And I'm like, what have I done? You know, what have I done? Oh, I didn't even know. I did, I did not even know, but I had done it. Yeah, so I scheduled it. And I'm like stressed as hell and I know I have to get a swimsuit. <laughs> like it even says, you know, like, yeah, you need to bring a swimsuit because there's all these beautiful pools in the spa, you know, like I won't be outside. But my God, I was looking at the pictures and the videos and I was like, it's so beautiful. Like I, I need to experience this spa and I need to splish splash in these pools and get this massage. Like, and, and it'll be perfect right before I have to fly back home, right? You know? Uh, so I won't have to leave the hotel, like I'll still be there, but I, I'll be able to get into the spa. I don't have to worry about, I won't be able to get into the regular pools. It's going to be great. So I had all this figured out and we had all this shit with us that like the people from the meetings had given us. And like I had to pack all this stuff and like the, that night I was so stressed. But before that happened, I had to go get a swimsuit. And again, I was not going to pay 200 bucks for a $200 swimsuit. Why hadn't I just brought the piece I had, you know, the half a swimsuit I had. Oh my God, Liz, you know, but I hadn't. So I'm like, well, there's a target like a few minutes away, you know, but it wasn't that simple. Now, when you leave the, when you leave the resort, it's easy. You just walk down there and the, the nice little hotel people are like, you need a taxi? And you're like, yeah. And they like, bring you a taxi you know <laughs> and you can just be like yeah I need to go to the closest target and so that's what I did and so I got there and you know obviously I didn't know how long it was gonna take so I was just like bye and and let, let the taxi go uh, 
For some reason, when I was in this Target, there were like literal like models in the in the Target. Not models, but like the the pageant ladies, the the ladies who 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 are like Miss this or Miss that. Um, I can't remember if they were states or like countries. Like I I'm, I'm not even sure. But like I, I wasn't looking directly at them because I am not worthy. You know, like these are some lovely lovely ladies, and they're like standing by the swimsuit section, and I just need to like go grab a swimsuit and like. <laughs> be on my way and there's like these models like doing a, some kind of event so I like kind of went around the the long way and like went to the back of the swimsuit section and like <laughs> was trying to trying to not be awkward because I'm awkward and I can't help it but they finally left and <laughs> why was that such a big deal but yeah they finally left and I, I was like okay I just gotta get a swimsuit now it's time for another fun fact from Liz <laughs> Are you ready for this one? I grew up in a very conservative Christian household, and so some of you who also grew up in that kind of household, you already know where I'm going with this, probably. probably. Uh, I never was used to wearing like anything but a one piece as a, as a youngster, you know? Like you had to be very modest because, you know, even though we preach the Bible, we're going to ignore the part where Jesus said, if an eye causes you to sin, gouge out your own eyeball, you know? That's what he literally said to the homies. But instead of telling that to the boys, you know, instead of telling the boys to keep your shit together, it was always girls just be modest, you know? <laughs> it's a whole thing, you know, we can get into, into religious trauma another time, you know? We can get into all of that and the way... Uh, the way you feel like you have to, to dress a certain way. Well, you know, a cool thing though that did happen, like I guess in the early 2000s was they started coming out with tankinis. Do you remember the tankinis? I mean, they still make them. It's like a two-piece swimsuit, but it's longer. Like it goes all the way down your torso, like a tank top kind of, or like a sp spaghetti strap shirt, but it's like a swimsuit. So I had never worn like an actual like bikini in my life, you know, and I'm like, I really don't want to start now, but like, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Like I can do it if I have to, because it's just me and there's just a spa and like, it's just, it's not that big of a deal, Liz. You can do it. You know, like, I know you're going to feel weird. Like, I know, I don't think it's like a sin or anything like that anymore, you know, <laughs> but like, it's just not something I'm used to. Like, I've just never like worn a freaking bikini anywhere in my life. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that kooky and quirky and crazy? Um, and so like, I was like, okay, I need something that's kind of in the middle, you know, something that's decent, but not too crazy, you know? And, it, and this Target was so picked over because of course it was, it's Vegas and there's there is a bunch of one pieces, but I don't like them. And I, my torso is long. So like, I don't want to wear a one piece. So like. After much deliberation, I finally found, like, some bottoms that I liked and then, like, a top that I liked that wasn't super revealing. Like, it was- it wasn't a full tankini, it only came down, like, a couple inches down your torso, but, like, it was better than some of the others. I wasn't quite ready for a full-ass bikini yet. <laughs> like, I know you needed to know this, I know you all asked about this, but, like, <laughs> so yeah, I'm telling you. But yeah, so I found my swimsuit and then the problem started of getting back to the fucking hotel, which should have been simple, but it wasn't. For one thing, the connection in this Target was just shit. So like, you know, it's getting kind of late and like I knew I had to pack all that shit and like figure out, you know, checking out the next day. Like I needed to figure out if I really did need to check out early still. Like I hadn't figured that out yet. And I was stressing and I'm like, I just need to get back, but I can't find a taxi. Like I'm on the Curb app. Now, if you're ever in a place where you need to get a taxi, there's this cool app called Curb and you can just summon a taxi with it. And that has worked well up until this point. And then this point, <laughs> it was not working. Like they kept searching and searching and, and they just kept saying like, no taxis are available. Just hold on. You know, we're trying to find you one. And this was after I found the address to the resort on the app. For some reason, it did not want to find that that location on the app. Like, I, no matter how accurately I typed that shit in, it was like, hmm, hmm. Like, I had to, like, disconnect from the Wi-Fi, and then it finally found it. And these taxis were not going to show up, y'all. I'm sitting at the Starbucks in this Target, drinking one of those stupid refreshers, and I'm like, I'm gonna have to do an Uber. Like, I'm gonna have to do a fucking Uber, you know? And I didn't want to, because again, I'm by myself. Like, I didn't mind taking Ubers when I was with the other people, right? But when I'm by myself, <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I, d I did karate for five years long ago. Like, I know how to defend myself, but I don't want to have to, you know? I don't want to, like, 
being a scary ass what if they just like stab me with a drug and i just get you know trafficked you know like that's the kind of thing you think about. <laughs> i mean that's the kind of shit that happens to be fair and so you can't help but think about it but it came to the point where i had no choice like there were not there were no taxis a taxi was not gonna come for me so so i downloaded the uber app and i'm like here we go i'm gonna die you know i'm gonna die but you know it was so much more efficient than the curb app for this particular instance in this particular location. I swear everywhere in Vegas is either like, this is a taxi spot or this is an Uber spot. And like, you can't, like one or the other rules everywhere. Like you can't just get either one wherever you are. It depends on where you are. And so this place was an Uber place, you know? And so I had to summon an Uber and they assigned me this guy and I'm like, of course it's a man. Of course it is. That's great. Um, but at least it was a really like obvious kind of car to find. Um, I was stressed about that and I knew, you know, I, I've seen things like before, like, you know, you need to make sure the license plate is the same as what it says on the app. And the app was even telling me that, like, make sure it's the right car, you know? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. But he got there super fast. And he was just a super nice, super gay dude, you know, and and then he's like telling me about how dangerous this area is on the way back. And he's like, yeah, you know, this happened over there. And then there's one time I had a customer and he got chased out of that, that stop right there by these three men. They chased him out of there. And he's like going on, like he thinks this is going to phase me. And I'm like, I'm from Texas. <laughs> like, like I, this shit happens. I'm sorry to tell you, but like, yeah, that happens. You know, like <laughs> I, I'm used to scary areas. Like I was like, yeah, um, we have a lot of crazy shit where I live too. And he's like, but you're not from here. <laughs> I'm like, no, you know, I'm just staying there because we're, we're doing work stuff here. And he was like, and you left the strip. That's dangerous. I'm like, holy fuck. It was so funny. Cause he, I guess he's like, you know, if you, if you, if you if you stay on the strip, you're safe. Like if, if you stay there, you're good. But when you leave it, like this area is bad. I'm like, I know, but like, I needed to go to target dude. Like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm not spending 200 bucks on a swimsuit. And again, like I am good. Like this is, there's places in Texas that are, are very scary as well. Just, just trust me. And, and so I'm like, this is not anything out of the ordinary. In fact, like I honestly feel more at home in the scary place than I do on this trip in some ways. And so anyway, we got back and I had my swimsuit and then the moment of truth came and I finally got to go to the spa on the last day. So I was stressed because it was just going to be so fancy and I am not a fancy girl. You know, like I said, I have never even been to a spa at all, much less a crazy kooky quirky one like this. So I was stressed in, and it took forever just to get there because this resort is so big and like there's just so much. And so finally I get there and I have my suit, stupid carry on suitcase and my backpack and like I had been stressing about that like I went ahead and just wore my swimsuit to the spa you know and and I checked in and they were like yeah it's fine like you can go ahead and, and be here now I'm like okay good and you know the, they, the, and you know they give you like a robe and sandals when you get there I'm like this is so fancy and luxurious and who am I but a piece of rice you know in the bowl of life and, and uh, who am I to be here like this is crazy <laughs> You know, and you know the girl who who was gonna take me to my locker was so nice. She was like, "Have you been here before?" I'm like, "No," and she's like, "Cool, I'll give you a tour." I'm like, "Okay," and so she starts taking me through this huge maze of luxury that is this spa. And uh, you know the locker thing was cool. Like I got my stuff put up, and she takes me to the swimming area where all these pools are, and there's like they're all different temperatures, and it's so pretty. And I'm like, I cannot wait to get in the freaking water water and there's all these different rooms and then she she walks me past this one area and she's like and this is this sauna and this sauna is this many thousand degrees it wasn't really a thousand degrees but it was really hot apparently and she goes and it's a hundred percent humidity and I'm just laughing to myself thinking yeah girl every day when I step out of my house in Texas that's the exact experience I get it's really hot hundred percent humidity so I will not be going in there but thank you so much I'm like, no, <laughs> you know, so I wasn't going to go into sauna, but there's like all these fancy rooms, you know, there's the girl's side and the guy's side, you know, the men and the women's side. And, and she's like, and then this is where you'll meet your, I don't know what, what fancy term they use, but the person that's going to give you the massage, you know, your service person, that's, this is where, where you'll meet them. Just be here a little before one. I'm like, okay. 
and then it hit me it's like it's gonna be a lady right it's gonna be a lady that does it right like I'm gonna get a female right to do the massage right like I didn't say that out loud but I'm like surely surely right like that seems accurate and I see these um, other people getting picked up for their massages <laughs> picked up you know what I mean and it's ladies and they're wearing this certain outfit like this cute little outfit that the massage people are wearing I'm like surely but I kind of told myself like if it's not a lady it's fine I'll live because fun fact, not only do I not like people touching me generally, but like when it comes to men, like no, like sorry, I'm off limits. Like even in a totally normal situation like this, like no, I just don't want you to touch me. <laughs> so I wasn't thinking about it and I'm like, I'm just gonna get in those pools and just like space out for a bit and have a great time. And this room has like all these chairs that are like heated and like all these different things and places you can sit and I'm like, I get in my, I get all, I get all ready in my slim suit and I go out there and there's just all these people sitting in these chairs just staring at the pretty view in this spa and I'm like, I have to like, like for some reason nobody was in the water when I went in there and I'm like, why are you all sitting in the chairs? Like, shouldn't we be splish splashing around in the water? Like not literally splashing, but you know what I mean? Like I wanted to be in the water and I'm like, hmm, this is awkward because like <laughs> they're all sitting there just like and there's then and I want to get in the water and they're all gonna watch me get in the water that's so awkward you know <laughs> like it's not but it is and so finally it took a while to like gain the courage to like stand up and walk into the pool but I finally managed after much delaying after getting water twice going back to the locker to get my lip balm because I can't go anywhere without my lip balm it was really nice to leave my phone in the locker though and just be disconnected from social media and the world for a while, you know, that was nice. But finally I'm like, you know what, fuck it, fuck all you people sitting on your dry butts, I'm gonna go get in the in the water like I'm supposed to. Like, the water's been calling me for three days now, you know, and I'm about to get in it finally. You know, so I just walked over there and stuck my feet in it first because it was cold, but it wasn't like super cold and it felt good, so I finally just like sat in the cold pool but I really wanted to get in the warm one after a bit and you know you have to like turn on the jets and like the jets are in are in all of the pools you know like the hot tub jets even even though they weren't all hot and then finally I got in the warmer one and I was in bliss I guess <laughs> like I was just floating and it's again so pretty in this spa like it's so chill and, and lovely and everyone else was being so like regal and mature and like calm and collected and there I am like in the midst of all the bubbles just like floating on my back like hee 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 like I'm in the water this is so fun like I wasn't being silly or kooky but I was definitely like letting go more than the others were they're just sitting there like talking and drinking wine and I'm like hee 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 I'm floating in the bubbles you know like <laughs> so excited and I'm like not really swimming but like I was kind of floating back and forth and like this is all I wanted I just wanted to be in the water um so I got to do that like a kooky crazy quirky girl and apparently there was some lady in this other room doing some dancing under the under the mist and I'm like I don't know what the fuck you're talking about um but I don't want to be in a room where a lady is dancing even if it's some really cool relaxing experience I don't want to do that so I I floated I floated in the bubbles for like an hour it was great and then I was like, hmm, I don't know what time it is. I don't know what's going on. I should probably like make sure I'm not late to to the to the massage thing. And there was also a, like another pool in the ladies' side. Like there's like separate pools on both sides. And so there was a smaller pool on the ladies' side. And I was like, maybe I'll go get in that one because I needed to pee. Okay, like again, my bladder happens. My bladder happens. So yeah, I was like, okay, uh, I'm gonna go pee and then maybe I'll get in the smaller pool on the lady side. Well, again, the universe does what it does because when I went to the bathroom, well, that was the moment my uterus decided to do what a uterus does, you know, if you know, you know, you know, it, just the, u the usual uterus bullshit that happens. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? Isn't that funny? But it's fine because I got the hour in the pool that I needed. And if you don't have a uterus, we'll just know that when your uterus acts up, you don't get back in the water. You just don't do that. You know, it's just not something you do. And, and that's fine because again, I had been in the water and I was like, okay, that's cool. I see this is this is what's supposed to happen. But I had been so stupid. You know, again, I plan, but I don't plan. And I hadn't put my hair up, so like most of my hair was drenched in chlorine water. 
and having not swam in so many years I forgot like how gross your hair feels after it's been in chlorine <laughs> and I was like yeah I really want to wash my hair and like the nice ass showers in this place holy shit like everything was so fancy so I was like fuck it I'm washing my hair even though it's probably gonna get messed up like it's fine I don't want to have chlorine hair on the airplane you know and then I had like half an hour before my my massage and I was like okay don't have enough time to order food because you can order food in there because of course you can but I did have a snack and I went in this like lounge area where all these really comfy chairs are by all these tv screens and I sat in that chair and like was more relaxed than I think I've ever been in my life like for a little bit I forgot about the anxiety of the upcoming massage appointment I forgot about having to fly, you know, I wasn't looking at my phone. I was just sat there like dead ass kind of falling asleep in this comfy chair, you know, it was so nice. So if you're worried that Liz never actually did the self care, she did, you know, it, there was some ups and downs to it, but I did, you know, <laughs> if nothing else, there was the water in that chair, you know, but then it was time to go wait in the area where you wait. <laughs> and so I did that. I, I got there even earlier than needed, of course, because that's what you do when you're anxious. And I was sitting there waiting and I was officially feeling anxious as all hell, like the nerves were setting in, like holy shit. You know, like thank fuck I again had had massages in the past because another fun fact, I was remembering like back when the, the first time I ever went to get a massage when I was pretty young and again I did it because I was in so much pain and I didn't really know how to deal with the pain back then, like what you're supposed to do, <laughs> you know? So I think, I can't remember why, but like for some reason when I was real young I had been given like a package of like a couple of free massages at like freaking massage envy or whatever it's called you know like one of those just like regular massage places you know and I remember before that first appointment at freaking massage envy when I was real young I was so stressed about the etiquette like do you take your clothes off like what do you do <laughs> you know like this is the kind of thing when you have social anxiety and your OCD that you stress about ahead of time like so I remember when I was real real young and I was gonna go to my first massage appointment I was like googling like what do you do like how much do you wear <laughs> when you're getting a massage has anyone else done that like I remember doing all that research and like figuring out like yeah you do take your bra off because like they can't massage your back properly when your freaking bra is on you know and like so thank fuck I like I had already and then I had had like several more like professional medical massages after that at different points but again I just don't love getting a massage because like it's fine and it does help like I like the fact that it helps the agony in my body but I just don't like random people touching me too much you know so so it had been a while since I'd had one but I was like okay I know what to do you know it's fine like um, I'm just gonna go in there, you know, and I'm like wearing my robe thing, but I'm wearing it because I took my swimsuit off and got dry. I'm like wearing it over like my leggings and like a tank top, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and uh, I'm like, this is weird. Probably most people come in here and their swimsuits are just like naked, I guess, like with their, with their robe over their nakedness, like, right? Probably. But I just had already put on dry clothes and, and my robe. And so... I'm like, it's gonna be a lady, right? It's gonna be a lady, right? You know? Because <laughs> again, me and men don't, don't do great together, you know? And lo and behold, a whole ass man walks out, you know? Like, of course, like, of course. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, of course, you know, this, this feeling came over me of like dread, kind of. <laughs> You know, I'm like, of course, it's a man, you know, a whole man just walked out here and is just going to be doing all of this to me. You know, that's great. <laughs> and I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. You know, just be normal, Liz. It's fine. Like, you know what to do. And he was, of course, super nice and professional and super chill and just like made the whole thing very, very chill. And I do think he was at least a bit on the gay side, which helps, you know, like at least be gay if you're going to touch me because then there's just one less thing to worry about, you know, like. <laughs> and so, you know, I was still stressed out at first, like it's just kind of nerve wracking. So the, they take you to this like very nice, like dark room, it's like black marble and like low lights and like he's talking about aroma aromatherapy like which scent do you want to use for your aromatherapy I'm like shit I don't know <laughs> you know like so I got to pick that out and he's like so why did you come today you know and I'm like 
I'm an agony bitch, you know, like I didn't say that, but I was like, well, yeah, I, I have a chiropractor, but like my right shoulder and arm like are still in pain most of the time, especially because I'm traveling and, you know, he found out, he's like, oh, you're going to fly after this? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, well, good timing. I'm like, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> um, and so then, you know, I'm like, you know, he, they, they leave so that you can like get naked, you know, great. I, there's no other way to say it. It is what it is. <laughs> So he like walks out of the room, he's like, yeah, I'll knock before I come back in. I'm like, okay, here we go. And so I'm like, here we go. Like, obviously you are under like a blanket the whole time. So like, it's fine, but like, it's still stressing me out. I'm like, he's gonna let me stay under this blanket, right? Like he's gonna let me stay under this cozy blanket, right? And like the, the table is heated. It's like so fancy and nice, you know? So I was like getting chill already, like chill out, like relaxed, you know? Um, because it was just so like comfy and warm, but I was also like, I'm gonna get to stay under the blanket, right? Like, yes, Liz, you are, you dumb fuck. You know, like, obviously you're gonna get to stay under the blanket. <laughs> like, you know, as as needed, of course. But um, yeah, I was stressing, I was stressing. And I'm like, Liz, why are you so stressed? Like, I know you don't like guys touching you, but like, why is this such a big deal for you? Like, <laughs> you know, and I started thinking about it, but, I, but not too much. Cause again, I was just focused on like surviving this experience, <laughs> surviving a massage. But man, this again was like my first full body massage. Like I've had massages, but not a full body one. And I was like not thinking about that when I showered because I wasn't thinking about the fact that I was going to be greased up like a fish for grilling. Like I was feeling so seasoned and ready to flop into a skillet and sizzle was the amount of like... It's the oily stuff they use, of course, like they're not just gonna like, I was gonna say touch you dry. I mean, that sounds so weird, but like, it, I mean, literally though, like they have to like use the, the oily shit. And so I was so greasy, you know, I'm like, it's fine. It's not too bad. Like by the time it's over, you don't really like feel greasy, but in the moment you're kind of thinking like, I have to get on a plane after this and then I'm gonna be like a fried pickle, you know, like greasy as a fried pickle on the airplane. That's wonderful, you know, but it was fine. It was good. It was, it was helpful helping the, the pain for sure in my body. So in, in summary, by the end, I was very greasy, but it got worse because he was like at the, at the very end, he's like, is it okay if I do your scalp? And I'm like, yeah, because I was so chill. I was like really feeling relaxed. Like I had not felt so relaxed in a hot minute, even though like it had been awkward at first and I was like stressed about it and I was still kind of a little bit stressed about it at the end. <sighs> You know, I, I was, it's still so zen, you know, it's so calming. And so I was like, yeah, dude, just go for my scalp, you know? <laughs> mistake. That was a mistake. If there was anywhere, I should have just said, yeah, do that, but don't touch my bangs. Cause if you don't know, I have bangs. And if there's one thing you don't want when you have bangs is for the greasiness to happen in your bangs. You know, you don't want your bangs to be greasy and dirty because it just becomes miserable. You can feel it. It looks awful. There's nothing you can do about it. And I didn't even think about it until it was too late and my whole head was greasier than a fried fish. You know, like here I was in a skillet sizzling with olive oil all over me. You know, it wasn't really olive oil, but basically. And I'm like, well, at least I washed the chlorine out of my hair because I wouldn't want to be greasy and chlorine infested, you know? So there's that, but now I'm going to be on a plane and stuck like this greasy for hours. That's wonderful, but it gets worse. Don't, don't worry. Thankfully though, I did find my dry shampoo and I, I did the best I could to get the greasiness under control with my dry shampoo. Very exciting, very fun, but it wasn't good enough. I was so greasy. My head felt so greasy. I'm like, nobody look at me, please. Nobody perceive me. I'm so freaking greasy. Well, get to the airport and I felt like I had made the right decision in doing the spa instead of going out of my way to get edibles, you know, you know? So I didn't have any gummies, but I did have grease. Um, <laughs> I did have a relaxed, greasy body. And it's probably a good thing I didn't have the edibles because security going out of Vegas was for some reason a little bit weirder than getting into it. So TSA was like pulling one of everybody's bags. Like everybody had at least one of their bags snatched to be manually searched. And I'm like, yeah, if I had edibles in there, I'd be freaking the fuck out right now, even though it's not that big of a deal and it's technically illegal here. I'm going somewhere where it's not legal and um, I would just be freaking out because that's what I do is I freak out. That's who I am as a person. That's my occupation is freaking the fuck out, you know? So I would have been freaking out, but I already was because I'm like, I don't have that long. Like I need to eat. Like I was starving. I hadn't, I hadn't had a whole ass meal that day. 
so they, they they snatched all of our bags you know they're looking through and i'm like mine is stuffed because i had to take all this stuff back with me for work you know and i'm like when he opens that this is gonna be such a mess but thank fuck he like the guy who had my bag he just barely unzipped it and then rezipped it i'm like what was all this about you made me wait an extra like 15 minutes just so you could glance in there like okay but at least he didn't like unpack it all because that would have been annoying maybe that's why is he realized it was stuffed and he was like i don't got time for this <laughs> like this girl crazy you know so maybe that's what it was but but I chose to end that at the most random awkward point, didn't I? <laughs> like, right in the middle of saying something. Wow, I'm a genius. We started it awkward and we ended it awkward. Just like my whole life. But it's fine. Basically, after that, I had a terrifying experience flying home. The weather in Nevada was acting up as I was leaving. And yeah, this was like before the hurricane. So I don't know what excuse it had. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but it was storming me as hell. I got home like two or three hours later than intended. There was lightning all around us. It was the scariest takeoff ever. And I've been in a plane that got struck by lightning before and it, this, this was still scarier. <laughs> Anyway, that's the speed build, that's the area, that's my, my new codes that are indeed released in the portal. Check out the description if you want to try them out. Feel free to tag me in pictures on social media if you do use them. Love to see it if you do. And yeah, thanks for watching um, and listening to my stupidity. Have a snazzy time zone and I'll see you again soon. Bye.